What you guys got another video here for you now in this one we're going to be taking a look at how you completely remove every bit of data on your hard drive safely now Jim who uh, sent me a message and also left a comment said uh, how does he uh, erase all the data on the hard drive safely uh, so he can sell his computer on eBay now there's a few options you can do you can either take the hard drive out and uh, keep it and use it yourself and buy a new one and put it in there or you can sell it without the hard drive or you can actually clean the hard drive up if it's a mechanical drive it's very quick and easy to do and I'll show you how to do it also SSDs uh, you can uh, clean those up as well using a different method I've made videos on these before so I'm going to show you a couple of steps on how to do it so first off we're going to be using parted magic okay now parted magic has been around for a long time and I'm going to show you how to create your bootable uh, USB flash drive, Jim, and you'll be able to then boot to that device and then uh, you'll be able to erase your drive. So I'm going to Rufus here and we're going to download uh, the actual software. Now I'm going to be downloading the portable version here. And I'm just going to run this actually from here and let that run. Say yes to the user account control there. And do you want to allow Rufus to check for it? I'm going to say no there, uh, but you can do if you want to. So I have my USB flash drive plugged in, and this is a 32 gigabyte uh, USB flash drive, depending on what size you've got here, pretty small. You don't need a massive flash drive for uh, parted magic. Uh, so what you want to do here is create a bootable flash drive for this, and I'm going to go to uh, this section here where we're going to be uh, creating uh, MBR partition scheme for BIOS or UEFI okay it depends on what you want to set yours up but we're going to set this up as this okay leave it as FAT32 uh, I'm going to leave that as USB uh, drive here we can call it uh, whatever P Magic, if you want to leave this here quick format and all we're going to do is come to this little icon here and we're going to select our ISO image. So I'm going to pull this over here and we're going to find our ISO image and I'm going to click open here and that's now done. So all we need to do now is make sure everything is OK here and then go ahead and push start. Now before I push start, I just want to point out here that you can change this uh, to GPT uh, partition scheme for UEFI if you have that set up but I'm just going to leave this as this here right so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select start and you can see this pop up here ISO hybrid image detected and I'm just going to leave this right uh, in ISO image mode recommended click OK here and it will then tell me that all the data on this USB flash drive is going to be uh, overwritten or deleted. And uh, you can see here, uh, we need to make sure that you've got all the data off of that USB flash drive, otherwise it will be lost forever. So I'm going to click OK. That's fine by me. And uh, we're just going to let that copy across. Now, once we've done this, we can then change the boot order when we reboot our system. And I'll show you how to do that as well. And you'll be able to then uh, boot to that uh, USB flash drive. And then I'll show the task on how to uh, erase your drive properly. Okay, so that's now done. And uh, we can now close this off. And what I'm going to do now is reboot the system uh, to that USB flash drive. And I'll show you how to do that right now. So once you've rebooted your system, you want to get into the BIOS. And you can do that by tapping on either F1, F2, Escape key, Delete key. F12 key, it should say at the bottom of the post screen uh, which key you need to use to enter your BIOS. And uh, once you get into your BIOS, it may be looking something like this, which is a newer type BIOS, or you may have the older type BIOS. But they bo both do the same sort of uh, functionality. You want to look for boot and go into settings here and look for boot, as you can see. So click on that and then uh, push enter. And uh, from there, you want to look for boot mode selection. And you can see I've selected legacy and UEFI. Uh, you can also, if it's on uh, UEFI, you may want to change that to legacy 
plus UEFI because it makes it easier to boot to that device. Boot option one needs to be your USB flash drive. Just change that and select your USB flash drive here. This will be your SanDisk or whatever USB flash drive you're using. I'm just going to go into a couple of other settings here and look at advanced. Uh, USB configuration, just check inside here and push enter. You may not have these uh, ones on yours and you can see I've got mine legacy USB support enabled. Once I've done that, I'm going to push uh, F10 and then push yes to save that configuration and boot to that USB flash drive. Okay, so I'm going to boot up to uh, the parted magic here. Now you've got some options here. You've got default settings run, uh, default settings 32 run from RAM, also default settings 64 and you can see that there and basically you can choose whatever one you want here to run so I'm just going to do the 64 and let that load in okay you'll see a load of text running up on the screen don't worry about that okay so here we are we need to just choose our time zone and uh, you can choose whatever time zone you're in uh, from here I'm just gonna look for I'm gonna click OK here and this is parted magic so from here you've seen me use this program before it's an awesome program and uh, it's a really good program for uh, doing a lot of repairs can't clone in your drive uh, all that sort of stuff so you can see there's a big erase disk on here also there's some tools down here which you can recover data from and Loads of other good stuff here. So we're going to click on the erase disk here. Now from here, because uh, we're booted up here, you can see here we've got internal. This is the internal drive. You can use this for the internal drive that you're uh, going to erase. Okay, so if it is an uh, SSD or something like that, um, you can use this. If it's an external drive and you've got it plugged in externally, you can still use the external feature here which is what I'm going to use because uh, I've got a, plug, a drive plugged in and I want to uh, format that drive. But if you are using the internal one, you can use this here. So looking at the external here, you can see here disk uh, write zeros to the entire drive using DD. And you can uh, do parts, which is write zeros and selected partition using DD. Shred using shred versus DD with zeros and this will also also take a little bit of time depending on uh, what you want to do here free space non-destructive wipes only free space erase MBR erases MBR and GP so you can see here uh, there's quite a lot to choose from so I'm going to click on the top one here and now you can see the drive so I've just got a small drive in here just to show you I can put the tick in the drive that I want uh, to erase and this is the one we're going to be erasing here. This is a USB flash drive. It could be an external drive. It could be an internal drive. If you want to plug that into some sort of dock or something like that, you can do it that way as well. So I'm just going to leave that as is. Click OK here. And then it will say continue at your own risk. All the data on the, select, on the selected devices will be erased. Are you sure you want to continue? Say yes here. And it will then go ahead and start to do that. Now it's going to take some time, so be patient, okay, because it's not going to be quick, uh, depending on uh, sort of how many uh, overwrites you're going to be doing or what sort of program you've ch se selected there, what sort of uh, uh, erase uh, program you've selected will depend on how quick it is. But it does take a bit of time, and uh, again, depends on what you want to do with the drive. If you are selling the computer and you want to leave that drive in it, then this is a must do a uh, uh, thing because otherwise what's going to happen is they're going to be able to recover data from that drive by doing this they won't be able to recover data from that drive okay so I'm not going to sit here and bore you and what will let this go all the way through but you would just leave this to go through you can see here uh, it's four percent it's uh, pretty quick it's just zero in the drive and uh, you should be okay to then uh, sell that drive inside the computer on uh, eBay should be okay and I don't think they'll be able to pull anything back from that okay anyway I think we're going to wrap this one up that's basically how you can completely erase all the data on your drive if you're selling it on eBay I'll sure leave uh, the information in the video description for you thanks again for watching hope this one helps you out Jim bye for now
Now if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.